I'll be with you. Uh, I'm looking for a Sukuno. Sukuno. Uh, Baron Rickvold. Isn't this his camp? You won't get nothing out of him. You must be Radzig's man. I heard he was supposed to send someone. Yes, Sir Radzig sent me as a guide. I'm Henry. I'm Jakey. And this here fella, we call the Stone. Yeah, I can see why. What's up with him? Cat got his tongue? No, more like the dog got it. The executioner's dog. <laughs> when the executioner ripped it out of him. Anyway, you better come along with me. And I'll introduce you to the other fellas and the chief. These here are the Bearman brothers, Petter and Jan. Mm. They're a barrel of laughs, except mm. when they're too drunk to string two words mm. together. Like now. <clears throat> Don't get on the wrong side of them, though. When their blood is up, well, it ain't a pretty sight. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Never mind the fancy poses, Stefan. You're trying to kill the fucker, not teach him how to dance. And you, Dangler, stand your ground. Don't let him lead you round by the nose. Sir? Well, sir, this is Henry. From Co... From Lord Cobola. Ah, it's about time Radzig got round to this. We need someone who knows their way round these parts. Leave off with the uh, bowing and curtsying. We don't hold with that tomfoolery here. Jakey! Where the hell are you sneaking off to? Go to the farm and get water. The lads are thirsty. But I went last time. And you'll go next time, you ungrateful pup. Get your ass moving. Snot-nosed brat. You pull them out of a pile of shit, and they thank you with back talk. Where were we? Oh, yeah. We need a guide who knows these parts. So I hope I can rely on you, Herman. That's Henry. Right. Well, as I said to Radzig, I don't want to carry any dead weight. We could find ourselves in some very tight situations where every sword counts. Well, I know how to handle a sword, all right? I've heard a lot of fellas say that. They still ended up on the wrong end of one. <laughs> we'll find out. Stefan, take a break. Dangler, let's find out what Harold here can do. Sure. No problem, Chief. You didn't fare badly at all, I must say. You can ride with us. All right, good. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. You don't know what you're letting yourself in for. <laughs> Should we ride out? Aye. We ought to set out on patrol about now. Hope you've got your kit ready and whatnot. I'd like to head to the north. Is there anything interesting that way? North of here. Uh, Samapesh and Merhoyed are that way. And Talmberg is a bit further on. There's stables in Merhoyed. I wouldn't mind paying a visit to those stables. We can go through there. And from there? From there, we'll follow our noses. Something interesting is sure to turn up. Feel it in my bones. Man up and let's go. Sure. Chief.
fine day, eh, brother? Indeed, brother. You know what I like best about days like this, yeah? Hmm. The scent of chamomile wafting from the hillsides. Among other things. Ah, like the rounded hills, rising, purple, all soft and pink in the sunlight. And the fertile valley below, spreading wide and inviting. Dew glistening in a mossy hollow. The sweet aroma of honey in the air. The sturdy poplar, standing tall and erect. I, it reminds me of that day. That day. Where the two of us fuck Fletch's ma. <laughs> Very true. Stuff for ma. Your ma's a stuffed bird. <laughs> I stuffed her myself. <laughs> I can't smell any chamomile. Well, man, how are things? May I? Yes, Fletch. How shall I put it? I'm a little concerned about the prospects in these parts, Chief. Oh? How's that? I've been looking around, and if you'll pardon me, it seems to me that we've been stuck for a long time in the arsehole of beyond. It's not Paris, France, I grant you. What I mean to say is, I haven't got any new kit or arrows since the day Jakey joined us. It makes me uneasy, Chief. I see. What about the rest of you? I don't know what Fletch is moaning about. There's plenty... <laughs> Yeah. Dangler. The arsehole of beyond everywhere we go. And it always makes me uneasy. Jakey! Fletch can complain. I was supposed to get a suit of armor, and all I got was a shitty kettle hat. Sorry, but they don't do hoberks in girl sizes. Oh? Well, how did you get yours then? All right. I appreciate your honesty, lads. Don't worry. There will be plunder. We're here to fight, and to the victor the spoils. That's how it's always been. But no purse of silver will shed blood for you on the battlefield. That's what this company is for. And I hope you never forget the golden rule. You can joke all you want, moan all you want, but nothing will keep your skins in one piece better than trusting your leader, who you choose by your own free will. So don't ever forget that. Amen. Chief, I think there's something going on over there. Let's go! Behind me, and keep your eyes peeled. through the holes in their bellies, eh, brother? <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is already watering, brother. I ain't even touched the purse yet. Once you get your hands in some loot, I'll be happy to play you for your hard death throat. Poor old flesh. Never gets to see the action from close up. What about you, Dangler? What do you expect to find? Utility in human suffering, like always. Always full of good cheer, eh, Dangler? Why don't you take a leap out of stone for me? Shut the fuck up. Jesus, I wish we'd all shut the fuck up.
Hmm. Still smouldering. Whoever torched it can't have got very far. Jesus Christ, what a massacre. What a pile of shit. I wonder if they found anything valuable at all. They weren't even armed. <sighs> Looks like it happened fast. God Almighty. No signs of resistance. They simply slaughtered them like animals. Kuno will want to know about this. Well, poor wretch. I found this shield in a shed along with a letter. Seems like someone left us a message. Show me that. Hmm. I know that crest. It's the house of Zul. A dangerous lot, God's truth. I don't think we'll find anything else here. We'll stay here a while, just in case. And you should go and report to Radzig what happened. What do you know about these Zuls? A family of impoverished nobles. They fought in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia. But what they're after in Bohemia, I've no idea. I thought I could go and search for those raiders. They might not have gotten very far yet. All right. It's always good to have an extra pair of eyes. We'll keep searching here for a while, and then head back to the camp. Yeah!
Won't let me. Isn't poaching, well, forbidden? But I'm no poacher. And what are you then? I, I'm a travelling butcher. A travelling butcher? <laughs> That's a new one. I'll tell you what, hand over a few groschen and I won't turn you in. Come now, no need to do anything hasty, is there? Here you are, and I trust you'll leave me in peace. Thanks. I'll be going on my way then. Yes, yes, you'd best be off.
I tracked down those raiders. You did? Well, nice work. So where are they? Well, they were a short way off to the east, in the woods, dividing up their loot. Were? They're gone now? Which way? Uh, down. To hell, where I sent them. What? Jesus, Henry. Are you out of your mind? Well, I took advantage at the moment of surprise. Christ of... Bob, I've met some mad bastards in my time, but... All right. I'll send someone there to scout around. Meanwhile, you have a snoop around here and see if you can find anything interesting. Yeah. How about measuring our strength again? What's the matter? I have a proposal. I'm listening. A little friendly co- Alright. Excellent. Aye. Splendid. Sucker. This is not my day. Here, take your coin and run along. Yeah. Yeah. Ow! What were you doing, you lout? You nearly killed me! Good to see you, lad. Sir Hanush told me you won his tourney. Good job, Henry. Sir, I'm afraid I have some bad news. We came across a burnt-out farm near Merhoyed. Christ! It seems Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. And this is something else, sir. We found a shield there with a crest. A tricolour star on a blue field. I know that coat of arms, unfortunately. It's the house of Zul. There was a letter there, too. Show it to me. Although I think I already know what it will say. Here you are, sir. 
Unscrupulous beast. Mm -hmm. Cruelty and malevolence. Uh -huh. I challenge you to face me in a duel. Defend your honor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anonymous wretch. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Signed, Hagen Zul. As I expected, old grievances coming back to haunt me. This Sir Hagen wants to challenge you to a duel. Apparently, he still hopes I will agree to this kind of outmoded solution to disputes. But surely you can't refuse a challenge to a duel. What about your honor? Henry, my boy, honor is a splendid thing, and it should be held in high regard. But in time, you'll learn that some matters are not so straightforward. Like this one? Yes, like this one. The only reason Hagen is challenging me now is that he has a marked advantage. I've served as the royal hetman for the last 15 years and become a courtier. Hagen, meanwhile, was fighting in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia and elsewhere as a mercenary. Which of us do you think would win a duel? That's not honour, but an abuse of honour. Commonplace opportunism. I don't blame him for trying, <laughs> but I'm not such a fool as to play by his rules. What happened between you and Sir Hagen? That's a long story. Well, I'd like to hear the whole story, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. It began in the first year of King Wenceslas's reign. He sent me to resolve a dispute between the Zuls and a neighbouring house. It concerned land boundaries. The Zuls had refused to accept the ruling of the land court. His Majesty's position was a little shaky after his coronation. So a decision was made in the royal court to take radical action against any dissent in the kingdom. Since the Zul family was defying the king, we were obliged to punish them. Harshly, as the circumstances demanded, the head of the family, Hagen's father, was hanged, their castle razed to the ground and their property confiscated. So, they're out for vengeance. But you acted according to the law. Would it were that simple, lad? I was young and didn't realize the repercussions it would bring. For one thing, the king didn't use it to strengthen his position. On the contrary, he took less and less interest in such affairs. How come? Because he realized things would eventually sort themselves out. He promoted me to royal hetman, leaving him to pursue other interests. Secondly, my actions essentially created another band of robbers. When you strip a nobleman of his property, you can't expect him to take to begging. And thirdly, I wasn't aware at the time that the other party to the dispute was distantly related to me. Naturally, that made it look like I was acting in self-interest. If I'd known what I know today, I'd have been a lot more circumspect. Well, what are we going to do about this? You and Kuno's band will just have to deal with Hagen and prevent further mayhem. The longer he's marauding around these parts, the greater the chances that I'll finally have to succumb to his conditions. So you'd fight him, if it came to that? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But maybe there's something else behind this challenge. Maybe it's coin he's after. Who knows? All right. We'll deal with him, sir. I'm sure you will, Henry. I'd like to ask something about this Sir Hagen. Sure. Goodbye.
Yeah. 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 